and after that applying for the jobs there are a lot of uh, tricks and strategies to apply for a job it's not just go on linkedin and just apply there are a lot of things research happens behind it and that uh, these kind of uh, things uh, this kind of setup uh, one uh, if one gets he really, uh, he really can get any kind of a job it's not tough to get a job with a proper uh, setup and proper mindset yeah Hello, welcome back everyone to another success story. I'm Raul from Funderjob in Germany and today I'm here with Pratik from Bangalore who is now based in Cologne. Pratik. Hey, hey Raul. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good as well. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Pratik, um I just said uh, you are based in Cologne. You um are originally from Bangalore in India. you are now in germany for a couple of months uh, how is it going yeah it's going good uh, so uh, i moved uh, in december uh, so now it's january so it's almost two months now in germany so it's a lot the winter is going on so it's actually yeah. peak now so, so, so you 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 experience some of the the snow and uh, yeah. christmas atmosphere as well True, true. La- last week we had a uh, snow, so this was my first experience with the snow for the first time in my life. How was so it? it? Was very great experience. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I've been out wearing uh, tight shoes and the winter clothes, so it was nice to roam around and enjoy the. Not too cold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't bought the coat, but I had clothes from my India, so I managed with them. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Uh, Pratik, um, you are a Java developer. Um, yeah. You have seven years of experience. Um, worked at um, several companies also uh, throughout your career in India, and then at some point you decided to come to Germany. Tell us a bit more. What was your motivation actually? Why did you uh, Why did you want to come to Germany? Yeah. So the first, uh, you know, the priority for my uh, with uh, with the personal life, you know, the good healthcare system. Uh, I just got recently married, so I wanted to have a a good uh, work life balance and give time to my family. So mm-hmm. with that perspective in India, it's really uh, tough for uh, somewhere like uh, uh, seven years of experience I have in uh, IT industry. So with that consideration uh, going forward for my professional life, so I wanted to have some good work life balance. and good healthcare system for my family and myself so in india it's tough to find both of these factors so uh, i wanted to explore more uh, international exposure to get the international exposure and explore more opportunities here also you know when you interact with multiple cross culture people you get uh, different kind of a uh, um, ideas or to develop some uh, new technologies or something in okay. india it's more of uh, your own uh, um uh, it, it's more uh, straight jacket kind of situation in india uh, mm-hmm. where if you if you come out of that you would explore more um, kind of a you could you could explore more of opportunities and ideas yeah okay pratik we will talk about um if your uh, dream came true let's say uh, yeah. we will find out more about your uh, um work experience here in germany as well um but again the question why germany not why not the us or canada or uk maybe um as an alternative why germany yeah when i initially uh, started to get the thought process right so i was mainly looking for uk and germany and netherlands so these three were my uh, priorities so whichever gets first would be the uh, ideal uh, you know the job offer whatever the with the perks and everything so germany i found basically i found uh, find a job in germany uh, coaching program so that that really helped for me to start with the whatever the uh, with respect to the resume writing with respect to the coaching program the insights what are the curriculum set by them so that was that really impressed me with the kind of uh, portfolio they have set for uh, for any kind of a uh, like any java developer or any kind of an it experience guys so mm-hmm. to get into the to get outside uh, the uh, india right so i felt germany would be the right uh, you know the right country with respect to whatever the help i would get from you guys and also the whatever the jobs i searched on the linkedin i had more opportunities in germany than uk or netherlands so yeah, it was more uh, easy and also if you consider the healthcare system 
and the uh, kind of uh, even though the tax gets deducted a lot but that would initiate that would uh, in, in turn benefit you from your um, uh, the health insurance coverage you get the free health insurance here so that covers in your salary and other uh, factors like you get uh, if you want to do some ms or some a degree kind of thing you get you can go to the college without any much uh, fees or any burden kind of you can mm-hmm. do your higher degree phd or anything if you want to wish mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, pratik have you applied for jobs in um, other countries and germany before you joined our program actually yeah uh, before joining the program yeah i actually tried for uk and netherlands and also germany but i would not get much calls It mm-hmm. would be more uh, like uh, more of a rejection, maybe be based on my CV was bad or there were no catchy words. There was no proper uh, research and uh, applied for the a particular job. Yeah. Okay. So then you found us. Uh, I remember we had the call, um, the strategy call, uh, which you um, get invited to after you pass. the round with uh, Paul in the get to know call. Correct. So, um, then you decided to join the program. Uh, lucky you, you're now in Germany. What um, was the key um, for success? What was the the insights that uh, you could share uh, with us regarding the program and um, the, the hiring process? Yeah, you, you know, the... uh the having the right mindset is the key so yeah you know the find a job in germany program is really one of a kind of a program you would not you would find rarely in anywhere in the world i would say because the the curriculum whatever the set the kind of a steps at each stage right so for cv uh, for get to know call you assess uh, the mindset of a, a candidate right so how 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 would uh, how how would a candidate be fit in for a job whether he is fit or not technically or soft skill side so you guys judge that even if there is a gap you guys uh, give a feedback that come back again after some months or after uh, a week uh, having this kind of a uh, uh, right things in your resume or right things in your um, profile and then come back so that that is one good start to have in a get to know call and the second thing is the cv ramp uh, the one of the coachy or coach or a mentor would be assigned and he would be with you in touch every now and then assessing your resume and that would that really helped actually to get start with the resume part and after that applying for the jobs there are a lot of uh, tricks and strategies to apply for a job it's not just go on linkedin and just apply there are a lot of things research happens behind it and that uh, these kind of uh, things uh, this kind of setup uh, one uh, if one gets he really, uh, he really can get any kind of a job it's not tough to get a job with a proper uh, setup and proper mindset yeah, yeah. okay good yes uh, luckily uh, and um, also as you said you had the right mindset um, i just looked it up you uh, joined last year mid of july and then got a, a job already in september yeah so uh, average time in our program the three months as we told you um uh, how many invites did you get and um um out of the the um, after we we together you applied for for jobs in our program uh yeah so uh, after uh, the cv ramping right so we started to apply Uh, different job boards right so although the career websites and the linkedin indeed monster so we tried multiple uh, things so there uh, i would say in 20 days after applying so you know the germans are very slow so but they get they get the good right uh, job profile for you the good companies and uh, the one which exactly matches your job description and your the resume they really give a call to you so with, the, with respect to that uh, and the time frame was more than like after applying for 20 days uh, i i would get like three to four calls and every 15 days i had every every 15 days i had two three interviews uh, going on in the in in the time frame yeah i remember you were quite busy uh, besides uh, your work of course in bangalore as well Oh. and uh, then cracked the rounds one after the other that was very uh, nice to see um, yeah. and we had also the mock up interviews where we guided you gave you feedback uh, yeah. um, in order to position you right accordingly wonderful 
Then you signed the pro uh, the the contract, and then you moved to Germany. Now you are based in Cologne. And in the second interview uh, with you, the second part of our interview, we will talk about your life actually in Germany, and um, how your daily life, work life, but is it really life work balance in Germany? Uh, what can you share with us? That is what we're going to talk about in the second part of this interview. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Pratik. See you soon, and all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you.